Y'all remember when LeBron James said this, right? Oh, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. And ever since Diddy got arrested, right, and the fans revealed his charges, right, got me looking at LeBron James real, real funny. Like, what do he mean when he said there's nothing like a Diddy party, right? What do LeBron James mean when he sat there and said that, right? LeBron James and Diddy are very close friends, right? Um, LeBron James has followed Diddy throughout the large portion of since he's been famous and since Diddy's been, you know, popular in the public eye as well, right? Um, they've been at parties. They've been very close with each other, right? So it had me thinking, like, the, the charges that Diddy got indicted with, you know what I'm saying, uh, sex trafficking women, right? Um, having, what, 200 bottles of baby oil at his place as well, right? And, uh, you know, the, the zesty things that he's been indicted with as well, right? Um, sex trafficking men, women. Uh, he's been doing all types of, you know, nasty trifling stuff, right, that we don't condone, right? I kind of look at LeBron James in a way like, was you associated with Diddy organization, right? And the reason why I sat there and said this, because a girl named by Cappy Pondaxter, right, came out and sat there and said this about LeBron James. I ain't confused. I ain't on that shit. That nigga tried to kill me for real. I just fucking got out of that shit. I've been missing for almost like two years. I didn't even know where the fuck I was at. I do not fuck with LeBron James. That nigga's a trafficker, my nigga. That nigga is a trafficker. He is a fucking trafficker. He trafficked women in real time. That nigga stole all my money out of my bank account. So why would Cappy Pondex lie, right? And when... She sat there and said that LeBron James is a sex trafficker. He sex trafficked women, right? Well, if you connect the two, LeBron James is close to Diddy, and Diddy has been accused of sex trafficking, right? And LeBron James and Diddy be going to each other places and stuff like that as well. If you put two to two together, I think LeBron James is involved with Diddy's organization, right? Then you're telling me that former NYPD came out there and said that LeBron James be at them freak offs with Diddy parties and stuff like that, man. Oh my gosh, you cannot make this up, man. Take a listen. I know that he's a little taken back by this because I've been hearing that about him. And then right. there are other people that Diddy's had uh, relationships with. You got to remember, he was a billionaire and on a billionaire status where mm -hmm. he moved and ran with the most elite celebrities and entertainers in the world. So I'm sure all these people were at this party at one time. LeBron James was always saying, hey, Diddy party, was no, there's no party like a Diddy party. I so, mean, wait, do, I mean, because I've been reading about that too. Do we really think LeBron James went to some- Oh yeah, he was, at those, he was at those parties. From what we know, he was definitely at those parties. LeBron James is done. He's done. When you got police officers, right, and you have people come out there and sit there and say that LeBron James is part of Diddy's and this organization at the freak offs and stuff like that, bro, LeBron James should be a guy that be, should be brought into questioning, right, because all the things that Diddy has came out there and did, ladies and gentlemen, right? Um, this is sad. Um, this is embarrassing, right? Uh, LeBron James is supposed to be this role model. He's supposed to be the example, right? And at the end of the day, you had freak offs with Diddy getting oiled up, getting freaky and, and all that weird type of stuff that he got going on, sex trafficking women, sex trafficking kids as well, right? Even men. And this is this is pathetic, man. This is this is just I can't you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. But this is the thing about LeBron. He has to come out there and say what really went on with him and Diddy, man. Uh, because at the end of the day, him being silent about it when people have came out there and said LeBron James be at the free calls is just not helping this case whatsoever. Real talk, man. So, LeBron is guilty, bro. We already got the evidence that we put up together, right? And at the end of the day, bro, he done. Uh, let me know what y'all think about this.